Um, I pay nothing out of pocket. The NHS will cover that for me. They will, yes. And then the strips that I need, NHS will cover those as well for me. NHS will cover that as well, yes. Every single strip I ever need to buy will be covered by NHS. Yes. As long as I am diagnosed as a diabetic by an NHS professional yeah. or, or a doctor accredited. Yeah. So if I'm just yeah. a so, free roaming consumer who just wants to buy a blood, blood glucose meter just for the fun of it, I obviously just pay the on the shelf price. Yeah, you go to Boots and buy one off the shelf or, or wherever Tesco's and, and buy one. You can go buy them. And right. you can pay the full price for test strips. Um, and they are more expensive. So what is, the, what is the shelf price for a test strip now? What is the shelf price? Do you know? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, you could probably Google it and find out, to be honest, and look at, like, Boots and see what they cost for a pack of 50. I think it's, like, is it 50 or 20 pounds, uh, maybe, for a pack of 50. So it's maybe about 50 pounds a test strip. That's like right. consumer off the shelf price, I think. Um, I'm not the right person, so I can't Google it. But um, yeah, you can you can look that up and, and see what they what what people will pay for them sometimes. You know, um, right. I'm not sure there's many cases. And does the ongoing do. does the ongoing cost of test trips get funded by the NHS? So if I continue to need the trip, obviously, um, yes. I will just go to the pharmacy. Is that how how does it actually work in the UK? Where do I actually so go to claim my? Yeah. Yeah, you'll get a repeat repeat prescription, and just like you would for any drugs or or medical devices. So you could then go in, um, continue to buy the the get you got a prescription for those blood glucose test strips. <clears throat> you just go in and pick them up from the pharmacy. Um, that's how. It and I don't pay anything out of um, pocket. No, so um, I, it depends where you are in the country. Um, this is a wonderful uh, world of the United Kingdom. Is in Scotland you don't pay for any prescriptions. In England you pay uh, a fixed fee. Um, the, regardless of how much the medication or the drugs actually, or the um, you know the devices cost, um, so it depends on where you are in the country. It's the wacky world of the United Kingdom. Right. Okay. So I'd pay like a nominal amount just to get my strips on an yeah. ongoing basis. It'll be nothing yeah. compared to the shelf price. Yeah. Exactly. It's still weird because, 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 because the majority of the, the, of the cost would be paid by the NHS. Yeah. Exactly. Got it. So, um, but and, and if I just, yeah, keep going. So, so I'm just going to say that's on. why they're trying to um, move um, tight cues off testing because it's you know there's a, a what in terms of the volumes it's not huge but it's still a significant uh, number of people that have blood glucose meters that probably aren't using them very much and then they're not using them to treat. So why are why are NHS paying for people to use them for tight cues? So that's why when I said much earlier on in this conversation, tight ones. Are the are they're they're the people you want to go after, uh, um, right? You know your your product, your product placement, your product features, whether it's you know all the features you got on your blood glucose meter, which then can extend onto an iPhone app or something like that about averaging, looking for trends. Hey, look every Monday night, you're you're a bit high, you know. That's the mm. sort of features that are helping type ones manage their blood sugar levels better, and and then drive. Um, behavior, better behaviors, drive healthier lifestyles, and then it saves got the it, money for the NHS. Got it. Got it. And so if and I that, am, so, yeah, so just say I get diagnosed with you know, diabetes and I choose the, the uh, an Avis produced glucose meter, and then a year later I, I'm like, well, actually, I don't quite like this one. I want to use a, um, a Roche one because my friend uses that and it looks cooler. Do I have that choice to change pr a meter? So in, in NHS, I think they're actually pretty flexible. Um, they, they will let you change your meter, not quite every day. <laughs> I, I'd hope not anyway. But, um, you know, you could you could say, hey, I don't like this meter. I um, You know, for whatever reason, I, I don't trust the results. And they will probably give you a new meter. Um, the, and that is actually, you know, you look at the... Um, the blood glucose meters, the number that are manufactured and shipped every year, there's, there must be, I don't know, across the world, let me guess, say 50 million blood glucose test strip meters are made every year, probably. Um, <clears throat> that's just a, a bit of an extrapolation from some data that I know. Um, probably 20% of them are in active use. There's probably a huge number of them are sitting in the bottom of drawers or in glove boxes and cars that aren't used anymore. Um, because they got a new meter, so there's the cost that's gone 